Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Joyroot Jojo. Today we start a new tutorial series on Azure Virtual Desktop. If you are watching this channel for the first time, I request you to please subscribe and support me. If you have any questions or suggestions, please mark it in the comment section. So let's start a new tutorial series today, Azure Virtual Desktop. So we will start with an overview of Azure Virtual Desktop. Azure Virtual Desktop was announced back in fall of 2019. I would like to pause and point out that Azure Virtual Desktop was originally called Windows Virtual Desktop. That was the product name when it was announced, when it was released earlier and later they named to Azure Virtual Desktop or in short we can say it as AVD. So there were four technologies that were part of the initial announcement. The first one was AVD service, Azure Virtual Desktop service. This is a platform as a service or pass offerings that allows remote access to the Azure Virtual Desktop environment. The Azure Virtual Desktop service facilitate the connection between the virtual desktop and the application and the end users. And the next one is Windows 10 multi-user. So as the name implies, this is the version of Windows 10 that allows multi-user session on a single installation of the OS. So one of the important thing to note here is that it's about Windows 10 multi-user. It's only available in Azure. It may be possible to download the disk image but it is not supported outside the Azure. And the next product is nothing but FS logic. What is this FS logic? To understand the concept, like one problem with the remote desktop environment is that a user could log into, let's say, computer A, okay, and save something to that desktop. The next day, they log into, uh, this time they go to computer B. The document they saved on their computer is no longer available there. FS logic make user profile portable. So it follows them around as they move to the different computers. So FS logic is not limited to files on a desktop. It also saves user customization and things like browser favorites and all other stuffs. FS logic improves the user experience by providing consistent environment as users move between the computers so that is fs logic and it is uh, and we will be configuring fs logic in this tutorial series all right so let's move to the fourth one which is nothing but msix app attachment so what is this msix app attachment you probably used to installing application and you likely have a few that need to be installed on a fresh computer before it's ready for the end user. So I repeat, what MSIX app attachment does, it attach certain kind of uh, packaging and running application in a way that are attached to the OS, not installed on the OS. This decreases the time to deploy new servers and make the application portable. So this is the concept of MSI app attachment and uh, we will see that de detail in this tutorial series. We will uh, create it, we will practically uh, do it in the lab environment, even all this uh, we will be doing it. All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the components that make up Azure Virtual Desktop. Let's start with some vocabulary. So in this tutorial series, you may hear the word like session host, host pool, remote application, remote app application group, desktop application group, workspace. So all these vocabularies you will be repeatedly uh, hearing in this session. So you should understand what does it mean by before we move to move further. We, you should know what is a session host. When I say session host, you should get the concept of session host. You should understand what is host pool, what is remote application and workspace and all these stuff. So let's start with session host. So what is this uh, session host? A simple language, what I can say, a session host is like a big shared computer that let many user to use it at once. So uh, just before we uh, 
uh, talk about Windows 10 multi-user. So what happens in a session host, which is a big shared computer, we install Windows 10 or Windows 11 multi-user or OS operating system and we allow many user to use it at once. So that is what called by session host. So what we have to keep in mind, all session host and host to pool should be configured and size as identical as possible. If you are providing 128 GB to one session host, the same should be provided to the other one. So it should be configured and sized as identical as possible. Hope you got me. So I can just draw you for your better understanding. We'll go to an MS, MS Paint. All right. So here we have a session host and we have got another session host and the third one. Okay, so if, if you have provided 128 GB in the first one, the second one also should have the same configuration and the third one also should have the same configuration. It's not compulsory that all should be the same configuration, but it is it's a good practice to keep all the session hosts as uh, identical. And multi-user will be logged into this machine, like uh, a, a number of users can log into this machine as we have installed Windows 10 uh, multi-user. Uh, even 10 or 15, 20 users can log into this machine at a time. And the group of these session hosts are called host pool. Here if you check it out, what is a host pool? Host pool is nothing but a group of session hosts are called host pool. A user log into one mission in a particular day, so he get mission one. The next day he log into the other mission, he may get this uh, mission two or he may get mission three. All right, next is a remote application. This is a group of non-desktop application available to the end users. Excel and Notepad, uh, for example, which means an application available to the end user, an application installed on the session host or a full desktop can be published as a remote application. And then we come to remote application group. A host pool can have multiple remote app application group. Users are assigned to an application group and will have access to any application in that group. Moving on to the desktop application group, this is a full desktop experience. A host pool can have only one desktop application group once it's created by default and can be removed if it's not needed. And just like remote app, Users are assigned permission to the desktop application group. Uh, and the last one is nothing but a workspace. Workspace is a logical grouping of application group. Uh, this is what the user interact with. We are going to come back to these terms frequently throughout this course. I believe you got an uh, introduction to the Azure Virtual Desktop. Uh, don't worry, we will be uh, doing it practically in the coming videos and you will have more idea about all these terms. So that's it. We'll meet you in another video. Till then, goodbye.